the man from Pera. So our military personnel are waiting. Nato 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 Sri Jamaliza Jamalude. Let's give him a big hand. Only kind. We have created you from one single man and one single woman. And we have created you from various tribes and races that you may know and respect each other. Verily the most honored of you in my sight is he who is most pious. And God most almighty is most knowledgeable and most well informed. Kami akan berusaha untuk berterima kasih kepada kerajaan di Filipina, khususnya pasukan rakyat yang telah sudi mengundang saya pada malam ini untuk memberikan secara ringkas apa yang terjadi di negeri Perak dan Perluan dan seterusnya apa yang perlu kita pelajari supaya dapat kita mengambil aktibar dan seterusnya mengelak kerajaan pasukan rakyat Filipina daripada dirampas oleh satu Malaysia. I think there has been several attempts by one Malaysia to confiscate as well as to grab, grab the power of the other three or four Pakatan Raya states. That there has been serious attempts by one Malaysia. But because of what happened in Kerala, they had to think not only twice but many, many times. Because all these Pakatan Raya government have been fully aware and got themselves equipped so that they can resist the temptations as well as the as well as the forces made by one Malaysia to attack them. So we in Karak will be in the forefront to guard against Pakatan Raya for whatever has happened in Karak. We are still in the forefront together with other Pakatan states so that we will be together with Pakatan states in our journey to Uttarajaya. That was that. Apabila Kerajaan Barasa Nasional Tumbang pada 8 hari bulan, 9 hari bulan Mac pada tahun lepas, Rakyat Negeri Herak Sulawesi Tawar Sepanjang 52 tahun Kita hidup dalam suasana Yang takut Dalam suasana yang bimbang Dalam suasana yang diberikan Satu gambaran yang cukup ngeri Oleh kerana apa? Oleh kerana para senasional Khususnya tiga parti komponen UMNO, para senasional MCA dan juga MIC menanamkan semangat perkawangan yang cukup mendalam bagi kaum-kaum di negeri Perak saya tidak terlaluan kalau menyatakan bahawa negeri Perak merupakan a very close resemblance of total Malaysia the state of Perak is actually a mini Malaysia compared to other Pakatan states dari segi racial composition, dari segi geographical distribution, dari segi economic activity dan sebagainya, maka sudah melihat Perak is actually representative of what Malaysia is all about. Dari itu itu sudah bersedara, for the last 52 years, UMNO has been hammering on the Malays in particular in Perak that you should not change the government. Any attempts to change the government by the Malays will result in racial riot, will, res will result in social upheaval. So that has been the trend of life that the Malays have been living in Canada. And I would have thought so in other states as well. MCA likewise also play the same racial overtone to the Chinese. That if you are brave enough to change the government, that you will have to face a racial riot, something like in May, and there will be also some social upheaval. And likewise, MIC 
they also equally play the same tone to the Indians. Likewise, our brothers in the AP are not in past. None of us actually had an iota of anticipation that we're going to win that election. Personally, I was requested to contest in a hardcore MIC area for ages, for donkey years. That particular constituency, you can put any rock, any wood, MIC would be. And I was instructed to contest in that area. But by the grace of God, we won. We won. How did we win? We didn't know how did we win. The only thing is that I knew the chief, the chairman of all the three parties, Tanya Lampas and the AP, all, all of us, on that particular night, something like half past 11 towards midnight on the 8th of February, 8th of March last year. Ladies and gentlemen, we were all summoned to Ipo almost at midnight when the results were revealed. And at that time, the chief of Paz, Ka'anila, and we were looking at one another. We were looking at one another. Are we going to proceed tomorrow morning with what we are having now? With six seats from Paz, seven seats from Ka'anila, and 18 seats from the AB. No. In a constituency of 59, total 59 seats. For the first time, ladies and gentlemen, we talked about coming together. We talked about putting all our differences, particularly in that, in that door, we put aside all our differences. We were saying that would there be any other golden opportunity for us to outdo Amno versus National other than that particular night? That became our overwhelming issue for that particular one. The question is, would we be able to get another golden opportunity for us to push Amno out and put an alternative government? When we were groping towards what we could, what we could think at that time, that we thought that coming together was the only alternative that would throw Amno out and put an alternative government. Which the masses that play in Para, they have made that landmark decision to give some several seats to pass Ka'adila Nagiri. In order to honor that bravery, in order to respect the decision made by the Parakians, therefore we put aside our differences, we came together, we, called, we put all our strength together, and we were saying, let's form the coalition government, let's be together, and let's go out with it. The AP, they contested in 1860, they won all in The AP, they in 1860, they knew very well that the constitution of Perak only reserved that the post of the chief minister must be a Malay and must be a Muslim. There are many lawyers among the 18 candidates of the AP, there are several lawyers, they understood the law very well. They say that, brothers, as far as the position of chief minister is concerned, we rest it to Kaanila and Pass. But we have agreed to form the governments. For whatever differences that we have in the past, let us forget about it. In the meantime, then we form the government. The chief minister, you decide on your own among Karela and the head past. Karela look at themselves. They say, brothers, thanks a lot to the AP, because they have given now the responsibility to us, past and Karela. Let us decide among ourselves. Now Karela was looking at their at the candidates as well. And likewise, past was looking at our candidates as well. Who's among the six of past and the seven of Kaanilan will be eligible to be the, to be the chief minister? 